Holocaust Remembrance uh, Day was celebrated earlier this afternoon in this grand edifice. I was particularly touched during the service when the students at Gray Academy recited April Wind. I was sitting off to the side, usually in the crowd or at the back, but today I was sitting off to the side, and it allowed me to see something that I haven't normally seen at these types of services, and that is I was able to hear the service, but also look into the faces of the survivors who remain alive, the survivors of the Holocaust. Looking into their eyes, thinking about what they have seen in their lives, is something that must never be forgotten. That's why I'm so proud of the students at Sturgeon Heights Collegiate, who every year have a Anne Frank Memorial display open to the public on their own initiative, thanks to the faculty and students. The Holocaust was one of the most horrific events in human history. And of course, for each individual, the most horrific event conceivable. The Holocaust reminds us that we should never forget about human rights. That's why I think we're all proud to be in the city where the Human Rights Museum now stands and is now part of our currency, the $10 bill. And I'd like to thank Gail Asper, David Asper, Leonard Asper, Izzy Asper, and former member of this place, for their support and vision in this regard. World War II touched many lives, including my, my own family. My grandfather was a prisoner of war. He was used for slave labor under the Japanese on the infamous Burmese Railway for four years. My grandmother knew nothing. And that happened to too many people. And that's what happens when we forget about human rights. Oh, and people like me with a disability, we would have just been killed at, if the Nazis were successful. Like you wouldn't have to worry about making a wheelchair ramp in the chamber or anywhere else because there'd be no one in wheelchairs. That is the difference between the good guys and the bad guys in today's context. We must never forget human rights. Madam Speaker, I'll end by saying that some of you may know I was in Berlin on a work-related issue in December. One of the most moving experiences of my life was whipping between meetings late one night, dark, dirty, rainy evening, and I found myself in the middle of the Holocaust Memorial. There was another member in this place that was also at the Holocaust Memorial in Berlin during the day. For some reason, I was there at night in the cold, alone, with these edifices, black boxes, representing lives, souls, loss. Madam Speaker, thank goodness uh, the good guys won that war, the Second World War, and that we will 
cherish human rights forever. And Winnipeg is a beacon for the world. If you have any questions about it, just look on your $10 bill. Thank you.